just to see the microtech units because mm -hmm. I try to work with microtech mm -hmm. and uh, I said, well, I'm happy to work with you. $3,000 a day for consulting. Uh, um, well, we are basically three guys from a small organization that's called Foreign Air Citizen. Um, we're based in Denmark and um, the whole thing started as a school project. Um, and basically now we design own internship in a non-profit organization. And uh, yeah, and we teamed up with Tuna Panda and Josephine for the Tuna Panda Net and uh, kind of uh, like assisting them in, uh, in their mission for uh, Connect and Keeper. And um, just to put my name, is Sean Jones. Uh, Hi, my name is Andres. And Shasti. And we're all based in Denmark, but we're three different nationalities. I'm from Denmark, slash England. Uh, Andres is from Hungary, and Yalti from uh, Iceland. So it's quite an international group, so the setting is perfect. Um, but the mission was that we wanted to kind of figure out how could we help with internet infrastructure in, in, uh, in Africa or just in the world in, in general. So what we thought to start with was in Denmark there is a lot of used routers lying around in people's homes because the thing is each time you move an address for example usually the internet service provider sends you a new uh, router um, for example, it could also be uh, if you change your internet subscription, they also send you a router. Um, and our mission was that we want to provide some cool products around Africa, and by coincidence, we got to Tuna Panda. And that was through a, a, a guy that we reached out to that worked for the BBC in Kenya, wrote him an email and asked, Do you know anyone that has? these kind of issues. So we reached out to him, and he referred us to Josephine, um, and from there we just took it off. And basically what we do in uh, Copenhagen is that we want to collect these used routers that's lying around in people's homes. And the majority has around two routers at home, just lying collecting dust. So we thought, oh, that would be cool to actually collect all this infrastructure and then send it to projects around the world that maybe you could have use of these routers in a great way. And that's also routers, it's cables and, and uh, switches. Um, so the facilitation is towards uh, stuff like Tuna Net, and uh, our goal is to expand out of Copenhagen, maybe to some of the other towns in Denmark, and then collect all the routers from there. Um, and uh, as I said earlier, a new router each time you change your internet subscription. And the reason is that people have it is because some of the internet service providers actually doesn't send the return box, which they should, because there is a, a law against e-waste in, in the European Union, but they don't. So a lot of people have it at home. Um, so approximately around 70% of our survey has a used router at home. So that was kind of like a market gap for us where we thought, that would be cool to, to join. And um, basically we partnered up with several different organizations. Uh, we started in January, so it's not that long, but we have gathered around 400 routers. So it's quite a, a good number within three, three months. And um, our partners are basically a couple here. Um, of course, most important partner in this process is of course Tuna Panda because we want to facilitate the routers within their Tuna Panda Net Mesh uh, project um, at two schools and at uh, the bio center and potentially the, the health center at some point. Um, we have Parayana, uh, which is a quite big organization also that has kind of given us advisory. We've sitting down with them at a lot of meetings and they're kind of giving their experience on how to do stuff. Um, we have Fair Denmark, they donated a lot of routers to us, um, so that's also one of our most important partners. And uh, the Retro Cafe is also one of our partners, which actually facilitated us with a working space. So that was quite cool, since we're on a very, very low budget. 
Um, and uh, Kipi Salam is a place where we actually did a crowdfunding campaign where we got around a thousand Danish crowns. Uh, I'm not sure what that is in shillings, but do uh, you know? But it's 40, but it's quite a substantial amount. Um, and it's a good, good uh, progress in towards actually logistically sending the router down to, to Africa. We also have a crowdfunding campaign on GoFundMe where we have around so $1,200 at the moment. So that's enough to send one pallet of our routers right now. But of course we, we're waiting a bit to, to get the number up of it so it's a bit more sustainable. Um, but yeah, uh, do you have anything to add? Yeah, the future aspect, we, we kind of want to uh, find these great projects as Josephine is doing and facilitate them with the routers we have in storage. Um, as it is right now, we're of course we're focusing on the private of people in Copenhagen that has these routers, but we also want to jump to more corporate accounts where they change the entire network and um, this will be able to facilitate these projects in, in the future. Um, the information is of course shown at roundtable.com and we have a web page that is under construction but uh, we have some uh, cool guys at schools that are some uh, web developers and they're helping uh, us in uh, developing a cool home page where we're also going to be developing a collection scheme in Copenhagen that will show us the quickest routes on our bikes to collect these routers around Copenhagen. Um, I think that's it. Yeah. All right, so thank you guys and thanks for uh, having us and letting us talk about our uh, project in, in Little Copenhagen. And uh, yeah, we made it down here to, to meet Josephine and, and say thank you, of course. So it's been a fantastic journey and uh, hopefully a lot more to come. So. Thank you, I thank me and Andy, because I know you are doing anything, we finished the session of time, so I'm not a bad moderator after all. Um, we have um, some time for questions, I'm sure you have questions for any of the four speakers, I, I have some as well. Uh, so, please, the floor is yours. I know the person from Gambia had something to say that he couldn't say before, and also you, I know, so I cut you, so the two of you have priority, and then the rest can go. Uh, I just wanted to uh, contribute to the SARS and SARS system that we are discussing. I wanted to mention to digital library systems. Uh, digital library systems. And of course, videos as content. Because uh, some papers like uh, mathematics would be interesting to have videos of tutorials, lectures, posted in on servers of the papers to our students as well. Yeah. Um, I've also seen <coughs> um, a project, I think one part. I thought actually uh, look deep into it, but I think it was more kinds of Canadian folks. It actually allows uh, people to make publications on the platform and you can read books and stuff. So several projects are going to be interesting. Thank you for giving me a question.